All right, hello guys, how's it going? Uh, so I wanted to give you a little bit of an update and a bit of a perspective of somebody who's seen this virus from both sides of the coin. So last weekend, last Saturday to be exact, my entire world that I had known up till that point kind of got pulled like a rug getting pulled out from uh, underneath you. Uh, my workplace closed. They had given people orders to go ahead and head back home. Um, I, I had a friend who I didn't have room at the time but told her if she needed a way out, I would come figure out a way to get her out. So I came home back to Ohio. Chris and I are here. Uh, and... We were talking about it. We made sure his parents were okay. Uh, and then I went and took care of my parents, made sure my parents were okay. Uh, my dad ended up getting some sinus issues due to the stupid Ohio weather changing like it normally does. It was 60 one day, 30 the next day with snowflakes. So yeah, go Ohio. Uh, anyhow... Um, I told my parents that my friend was still stuck in West Virginia and that I, after I took my mom to her doctor's appointment, I was going to head straight down there, get her moved out and to where she needed to be with her family as well. Well, they decided that they had been self-quarantining and my mom's been away from people for the better part of two years. Uh, so they decided they'd come along to help me. I, I mean, in some ways, okay, that's good, because I, I was able to keep an eye on both of my parents and know that they were somewhere safe. Had hand sanitizer, had uh, Lysol wipes, so I had the whole nine yards ready. And having been in kind of a norovirus scare before, I knew exactly how to handle the situation. And so we pretty much spent 24 hours going, grabbing my friend, dropping her off, and coming back to Ohio, uh, making as many minimal stops as we could along the way, just restrooms and the like, making sure we washed our hands, hand sanitized things, wiped things down with the, uh, the Lysol wipes, and just practiced overall safety. Uh, and... You know, that's that's what you have to do in a situation like this. I, I've been places like Yellowstone where we've lived in communal environments that any sickness is a big deal and any sickness could turn into a potential emergency. There was one person on one bus that had the norovirus. And by the time the, the company pulled in their, their three buses that they had, three quarters of all three of those buses had the norovirus, and it spread through the park like wildfire. We were under mandated quarantines. Uh, we had even stricter hours of going to and from places than we normally did. Um, and eventually, we got through it. it. It was a sketchy, hairy couple of weeks. I think it was almost a month uh, before they could start lifting the restrictions they had, but we made it through. And likewise, we're all going to make it through this. We just have to be smart about our decisions. Only do the things that we need to do. Like, right now... Uh, I, you can tell I'm in my car. I'm actually heading to the store because the parents are in the high risk category and I would rather get sick and isolate myself than to risk them going out and getting sick. So I have options too if I need to. Like I know how to sleep in a tent in the middle of the woods in 25 degree weather. So... I have the options to protect myself and to protect the others around me and make smart decisions. And I have hand sanitizer in my car that I carry with me at all times. 
I have a bunch of other stuff in my car for emergency situations because I am also a camper and an avid outdoors person and uh, some of the stuff you can pick up while camping is even worse than the effects of this virus. So you got to be careful in everything that you do. But if you make smart decisions, then you'll be okay. So that is me signing off. Um, try not to go too crazy while we are in this uh, stay-at-home order. Uh, it goes in effect tomorrow night here in Ohio at 11.59 p.m. And it is in place until April 6th. But we will make it through. We have technology we have the ability to FaceTime and chat with each other. We have the ability to play games with each other on Xbox, PlayStation, the phone, the computer. So we have ways of keeping in touch with each other. Check on each other. Make sure everybody's doing all right. And wash your hands.